I am appalled by the way I'm living. I have not been excited, optimistic, or had hope in a very long time. This is exactly what drowning looks like. This is it. This is above water drowning. Well, Tracy came to me for help with her mother who is just really days, could be hours away from eviction due to her hoarding. But Robin says that she is called to collect things and doesn't like any family members in her house because they judge her. Take a look. When I was a kid, my mother, who hated me, called me Rob the Slob. It stuck with me. Like a gopher, I get in my hole and I gather things around me so I'm protected. If nobody's coming, nobody's gonna hurt me. It's so controlling, so overpowering, and it's so debilitating. I don't drink, never been a smoker, but apparently I'm addicted to this. I have trouble throwing garbage away. That's ridiculous. I don't smell it. I don't smell the difference from walking out or walking in. I don't smell it. If I get something that I like, I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what is your function? None. But I'm attached. That's a Easter basket, of course. Does he serve a purpose? Hell no. Do am I attached to him? Yeah, I'm attached to him. If I go to pick up something off the floor, I fall over. Watch your step. Some of this has saved me a couple of times, or I'd be in here stuck. I've created pathways out the glass doors and out the front door. The kitchen is not usable right now. It would be usable if it was cleaned up, but I've just let it go. I haven't cared. I just haven't cared. I have a microwave and a refrigerator in the garage. Frozen food to the microwave. I nuke what I can in here. I plug it in right here. That's how I eat. The refrigerator that's in the kitchen doesn't work. I have not opened the freezer six, seven, eight years. Oh, stop. I have six dogs living with me right now and a cat. No, no, soldier, stay. No, soldier, you little wuss. The dogs and I live in this bed. In this house, I've had two horses, three tortoises, two goats. Up until recently, there were chickens in here. I never have people over. I dream about, gee, how nice it would be to have somebody for dinner, but there's no way. My grandkids haven't been in the house in about six or seven years. I don't want to pass this mess on to my kids or my grandkids. The landlord has threatened me with eviction. I could be homeless any day out on the street with my grocery cart and my dogs. Okay, it's good to meet you. Now, you've actually been here before. Yes. You've been in the audience. Yes. And I'd actually um, written to the show a couple of times, uh -huh. and I'd actually tried to, you know, pray you into my life. Well, um, here, here I am. There you go. <laughs> um, 